So I'm joined now by Ilkist and Times' latest manager, Lee Fowler. Lee, first of all, congratulations on getting the job and how excited are you to be here? Yeah, uh, thank you for the, you know, saying thanks for the job. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I've been doing a lot of research into the club, watching the games on the internet. I was there Saturday, so you know, took today's session ready for Saturday's game. And just what made you want to take this job? Um, I didn't want to be out of football too long. I just left the meeting sort of ten days ago. Uh, it was important that I kept in with it, and you know, it's just that roundabout where if you get off it, it's, it's hard to get back into there. Um, an opportunity arose. I went and interviewed. I had a meeting with Alan and Weathers. And the interview went really well, so and he was impressed with how I am as a person and, and as a coach, and he gave me the job straight away. You just mentioned there that both Alan and Anthony Webb were impressed with how you are as a coach. So what kind of coach would you describe yourself as? I'm enthusiastic. I'll be hands-on. Um, I'll be passionate. You know, I'll, you know, I'll be an arm around the, the, the players. The, they'll feel welcomed. They'll feel loved. They'll feel sort of I wanted to give them the fluidity and the freedom of playing football. But also as well, they need a little bit of help off the ball in terms of the shape, the individual, uh, collectively, whatever it is. They need that little bit of help because although the top of the league, I think they're having too many shots against them. Um, they need to be a little bit more disciplined out of possession. Um, and, you know, if that's high pressing someone or going into a low block, a mid block, um, just a little bit of help for the players. And you know, they're a fantastic team, the top of the league, but they need a little bit of guidance. In terms of style of play as well for the fans, what can they expect from you? Uh, listen, it's, it's, it's what the pitch gives you, it's what the players can give you. You know, there's no specific one style of play. I think you, you'd be silly to say I'm, I play total football. The pitches are cutting up. You know, you, you feel weaknesses in other teams. I think you can go back to front quick. You can play through the thirds. You, there's, there's many ways of playing football. I haven't got one specific way, but what it will be is, you know, play higher up the pitch. You know, I think Reeves has been a little bit isolated at times on his own. There'll be another person up there front with him on Saturday. Um, and just you play what the game gives you. If, if it gives you space, you play. If the, if the game's tight, you go long. So, you know, ideally, yeah, we all love to play out from the back and play through the thirds and whoever looks pretty. But sometimes you've got to put your boiler suit on and play ugly and win games of football. So, you know, it'll be a mixture of both. Is it a case of football's a results business? Let's do what we've got to do on the day to get three points. Uh, not necessary because it's an entertainment business as well. It's not just a, a results business, uh, especially, you know, the history of Keviel and Chets has done really well. You know, and, and I've been the same ilk as them in terms of how I want to play and how I played as a football player. But the reality of it is, you know, the pitch is now, the weather's terrible, the pitches are cutting up. You know, it'd be naive and stupid to play through pitches which are terrible. If the pitch is lovely, play through the pass. The team's very good and it's got the players to play football, it's got the pace and the energy up front. You know, they, they just whatever the pitch and whatever the team you play against. So, you know, they'll have the freedom to make the decision themselves. You've had experience at Nuneaton and Tamworth in a coaching role. How do you think that's prepared you coming in now and being the number one at a club at IFL Kister? Well, I say I've been captain of most football clubs I've been at. You know, I started the transition at 27 going into coaching. It was always something that was going to be in the forefront of my mind in the future of my career. Um, Tamworth was a massive learning curve. My brother was the manager. You know, I picked up a lot of stuff off my brother. Um, you know, Nuneaton was the biggest learning curve that I've had. It'd be the, it'd be the making of me. Uh, we had three chairmans, we had re embargoes, we had sort of everything you could name went wrong was there. But what we did do was galvanise a group. Uh, we had a great team spirit, we had a great empathy with the players and the fans alike. You know, we steadied the ship. You know, I wish them all the best because it's a fantastic football club. And I wish Jimmy the best in terms of what, you know, to keep him up. But Pasha's new, I'm here now and it's all about what I can do at Ilkeston. You mentioned that you took training tonight with your new team. Were you impressed with what you saw out there? Listen, I was, yeah, I was impressed because I've already seen them. I've done my research on the players. You know, I expected a little bit of a little bit of bite in the tackles. I expected they'd be high tempo, ferocious. They're willing to make an impression. Um, and with myself, you know, I've got to I've got to earn their respect. But on an equal opportunity, they've got to sort of earn my respect as well. So, you know, they've done themselves no harm today. The proof will be in the pudding Saturday. Um, expect us to go there and give a good performance against them. They've Decent outfit, good team. Got some good players, Kev Fulton, Gif Musafa. Um, you know, I've done my research on them as well. So, listen, as we go out on Saturday and the best team will win. And just before we let you go, a few words to the fans maybe on what like, you're expecting from them going forward for the rest of the season. Listen, the fans can come and speak to me at any time. I'll be there, I'm open. I'm one of the nicest people you meet. I'll have a pint with them after the game, go speak to them before the game, engage with them. All I want is just to back everybody, back myself. Give me the support that the players need as well, which they have done. The top of the league, fantastic team. Um, just, just see where it takes us. Though. There's no, I don't expect anything off them. Just to give us a little bit of support. Thank you, and good luck on Saturday. Yeah, cheers, Harry. Thank you.